Whether it's cameras, headphones, motors, encoders, or whatever, most things keep getting smaller and smaller these days. And as an engineer, designing products that take up less space doesn't mean you get to relax when it comes to performance and reliability. That's why we spent the past few years expanding our line of miniature encoders, so you can get the same great features and specs you've come to expect from our encoders in a much smaller package. Our E4T and E8T miniature encoders have been around for a few years now and are some of our most popular incremental encoders. The E8T is the largest in our line of miniature encoders. It supports shafts from 3 millimeters to 3 eighths of an inch and comes in resolutions up to 720 CPR. That's before quadrature, by the way. The E4T supports shafts ranging in size from 2 millimeters to 1 quarter of an inch and comes in resolutions up to 1000 CPR. Both encoders have optional through the hole covers, which allows for use with longer shafts and more flexibility on your design. They also have differential output options, which is great for longer cable runs or noisy environments. Neither the E4T or E8T have an index option. If you're looking for one, you can go a little bit bigger with our E5 or E2 encoders, or you can save even more space with our new microencoder, the E16. The E16 is only 16 millimeters in diameter and supports 1.5 and 2 millimeter shafts. This is a great option if your design requires a motor and encoder to fit into a small enclosed space, or if you have limited mounting space on a micro motor. While the E16 doesn't have differential output or through the hole cover, it does have an index and is the highest resolution option in our miniature encoder lineup. It comes in resolutions ranging between 250 and 4096 CPR. And if you're looking for a shafted encoder, we have the S4T and S16. And as you might have guessed, the S4T is the shafted version of the E4T and the S16 is the shafted version of the E16. Both encoders come with the general specs of their kit counterparts, but come with the 1 8 of an inch, 6 millimeter or 1 quarter inch shaft. The S16 and S4T are available with either a bushing or a ball bearing system for high speed applications. The shaft torque is designed to provide the feel of a potentiometer for front panel manual interfaces. And if you're looking for a small encoder with an absolute output option, check out our M3K Miniature Magnetic Encoder. And don't worry, if you're wanting to compare the specs more in depth, we prepared a comparison chart with all this info on it. And if you're looking for specifications, drawings, pricing information, all of that can be found on our website. We don't make you sign up for a mailing list or talk to the salesperson, it's just right there when you need it. And of course, if you want to make any customizations or you have any additional questions, we're always here to help.